Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you our FCS MEAC game of the week between the Bethune Cookman Wildcats and the South Carolina State Bulldogs. What a tale of two halves for the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. I mean, this was a team that was down 21 0, came back and blew out Alabama State. That was an impressive game right there. Kudos to Broderick Waters. This guy went 6-9, 110 yards, two touchdowns. But the most important stat was no turnovers, no interceptions, no fumbles, didn't make mistakes, kept the offense on pace. That was an impressive game by him coming in in relief. And he didn't get sacked. That's also key because that allows you to keep the football moving down the field. But they have to continue to be a force on the ground against a team like South Carolina State that can bring the pressure. Now, when I look at the Bulldogs in this game, so far this season, I know it's just one game, but that 3-4 defense has been very impressive, getting pressure, causing turnovers, getting the ball back for their offense, and when they get that ball back to that offense, they can run the football. Now, I like quarterback Richard Q. I liked his decision making, but he still has to cut down on the turnovers. If he can cut down on the interceptions, this is a team that can make a lot of noise in the MEAC this year. Team discipline versus that spread of Bethune Cookman is going to be vital. You have to make sure you read your keys. Don't be a hero. Do what you're supposed to do. Assignment football is number one. Big matchup right here again in the MEAC very early in the season. I like South Carolina. Say why? I like their defense. That 3 4 defense is killer. And I think that's going to do just enough to get that extra possession back for their offense. Not saying that Bethune Cookman is not game and ready to play, but I think South Carolina State right now has a better team overall to win this matchup.